Yo, I'm actually so proud of this script. Let's test it out. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Guys, please do not use server-side animations and stuff like tween service. If you go to view and network and you look at the overall incoming on the draw, it is three. It should not be like this ever in your games. This is causing way too much stress on your server and it is doing stuff that the server should not be doing. This, you can just see how jittery this is and it looks like it's not like... It's not smooth, it's not running every frame. You can see it when this part is moving. And you can kind of see it with this part uh, moving. And this is causing a lot of stress on the server. So, how do you fix this? Well, you want to convert this to a local script so it runs on the player's client. You should only be running server-side stuff if that is what the server does. If that is a job of the server. Something like physics should only be ran on the server because that is a server thing. Physics cannot be ran on the player's computer. The server should only manage its actual jobs and not unnecessary stuff that it has to worry about like tween service and managing the tweens and constantly updating the values. Because really what is going on here is the server has to constantly update the values and properties of this part. It is constantly having to change the position when it really sh shouldn't have to. And we shouldn't have to put this job on the server, but should leave it to our player's computer and manage the client and put it on the client so that it'll be smoother and it'll take away from your uh, game lag and it'll just make your game so much better. Constantly changing values using tween service is a no-go. Please do not use it. It, it is really bad. So how do we actually fix this? Well, we have this script. It has tween service, our two infos managing one for the position and the other for the size part. And then we are getting our parts in the workspace here. And then we are making the two tween service objects and playing them. How do we fix this? This is actually so much more simpler than what you guys may think it is. In starter player, I already have a local script, I'm just going to delete that, but you want to make a local script so we can run this on the client. All we have to do, copy this over, put it in this script, delete this script, the server script, and I believe we don't have to change anything. All we do, we have to say wafer child part to make sure that the parts are loaded in the game. That's all wafer child does is wait until an object is in the game. This is part two, and just as simple as this, this runs on the client, and we are no longer having to put stress on the server. And now, heading into the game, and we look at our incoming, it is now 0 0.3. It went from 3 to 0 0.3, and these tweens are smooth. See, I don't know if you guys can see in the recording, but these are now smooth, and they are working just fine now, and it's... The server no longer has to worry about constantly updating the properties in these objects. Again, let the server do the jobs it is already assigned that only the server can do. Stuff like physics and processing the game, having the players in the game, managing that, connecting to Roblox's servers and everything like that. Let the server do what it's supposed to and not have it stress and worry about all these other things that you can put on it tween service and just unnecessary stuff that the server should not have to do like tween service and constantly updating values uh, I hope you guys understand this because it's very important and this can very well lag your game when you have too many server side tweens alright you know what just for fun just to laugh at the Roblox's servers and watch them cry as I put all the stress on them I am going to unanchor these two parts while having only the server script run and not the client. And we've raised the incoming to almost five. That is insane. Five. <laughs> Imagine if you had multiple of these. And look at this green block. It, it's bugging out. It has no idea what it's doing. 
the red one still kind of works just physics are applied on to it um but this is even worse than what i had it because it's almost out of five and it it's just not a good look so the next part is if everything is on the client then that means only one person will see it well that's where you can use remote events and in a server script i'm just going to delete all this in a server script you can insert a remote event even an unreliable remote event if that's the case but remote event and I can say to client and when we get this remote event uh, in our script or game to client we say to client um, we can say fire all clients and this makes it so that it fires for every client on a client script and this can be easily made into a module script and it can be easily called in send over all the information to the client so if this were to be called and send over information or whatever we're doing we can easily respond back to it on the client for every client and it would work okay so what I'm going to do now is I am going to make it so when you click on this green block it'll go to the client and fire all the clients and basically make it so it starts the tween so this tween again if it was only local script only when one person does it it would only that it would only tween for that player but I'm gonna make it so in the click detector once only one person clicks it the whole whole server can will see it client side so let's get right into that okay so I've got my part I got my two client thing I'm gonna say part dot click detector oh, part dot click detector mouse click connect it to a function we can send over the player um, if we really wanted to and I can say fire all clients we can send any information if we're not gonna send any and we're gonna pick it up over here now I really haven't uh, fixed this code yet so let me do that real quick all right so that looks a little bit better now we can get replicated storage storage and then you can say game whoops game get service replicated storage and get our two client which is replicated storage wait for child to client and now we can set stuff up and get everything working by saying to client on client events connect it to a function we don't have any information so we're not going to have any parameters here that i'm sending and then we can just make our tween so tween service create but and then part we already have our info made if you guys have not already seen that but this is our info tween info that i made and we're going to make our position set to uh itself and then we're going to add on to it so vector 3.new zero comma uh i'm gonna make that probably like a seven i don't know and then play it and when we head into the game now actually before we do this we have to enable the local script okay so we have our part it's not moving same thing for the server we see it's not moving now if one person clicks on this remember then the whole server can see it on the client side let's click it the tween works no errors in the output can't see it on the server so it's not putting stress on the server and to further prove this okay so i have two players here in a test server here's my first player and you know or this this is my first player over here and this is my second player but as you can see um the part is not moving now it doesn't matter which one of us clicks it i'm gonna have this guy right here on the right side click it i'm going to click it it works for him it also works for him uh, well it's glitching out because i forgot to anchor it that's my bad but uh re-anchor it so and i can also bring up the server all right sorry about that guys i'm just going to redo this because it was kind of glitching out when it was not anchored but now it is anchored D again doesn't matter which one of us clicks it so i'm gonna have him click it i click it it shows for the both of us it is both running on the client and now let me pull up the server and we can see here the part is not moving there's no stress on the server again our both of our players are here but the part's not moving so the server doesn't have to worry about it but still our whole server all the players can see it anyways using fire all clients from the remote event 
And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn some, something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.